Hi, everyone, and thanks for joining me. So today I'm going to show you how to connect a domain if you have your domain through domain.com. And I'm also going to show you uh, how to purchase a domain, uh, how to search for and purchase a domain. So if you already have your domain, you can go ahead and skip through that part uh, and watch the rest of the video. But we're going to talk about how to get your domain connected so your website connects back to your, your own custom domain uh, through Mighty Sites. So I'm right logged in here in my domain.com account. I'm going to first go over to register domain, and now it's going to ask me to search for one. So I'm going to find one that fits this business uh, that I just built in the other example video. It's a dog walking business. So you can see here's the template and here's all the information. So I'm now going to connect a custom domain to this. So it looks like wag walk repeat is the name of the business. So I'm going to search for something over here. Wag walk repeat looks like .com is available. Let's see the price. You know, so that's $9.99 a year. Um, so it depends on exactly what you're looking to do, um, but you can find all sorts of different domains, especially if you have a business where you want a .site domain or something like that. Uh, they're a little bit cheaper, but I like domain.com because it's pretty inexpensive. Again, that's $9.99 a year. So I'm going to go ahead and add that domain and we'll use that one to connect. So I'm going to continue to check out. And you can see here that I'm going to only register for one year, that $9.99. And then you can add on privacy protection. Uh, I'm not going to use that because we're just doing a demonstration here, but that just makes it so people can't um, as easily identify who the owner of the domain is. So I'm going to get rid of the domain protection too, so that my price for this demo is just $9.99, and then I'm going to purchase it. So once I purchase this, I'll see that I have my domain in the system. So it's loading here. So here we go. Here's the purchase. Now, when you go back in here, just be prepared that things take time when it's talking about domains. So you can see that it's setting up your domain. This can take up to 24 hours. Now, it doesn't usually take 24 hours, but it can take up to 24 hours to process. So I'll come right back as soon as this has processed and it's in my account and show you uh, how to get started with the next step. Okay, now our wagwalkrepeat.com domain is populated into our uh, my domains account through domain.com. So the next thing I'm going to do is, is I'll want to connect this to my Mighty Sites site. So you can see right here, connect a domain in the back end of your dashboard. So I'm going to go ahead and click right there. I'll do it again on connect a domain. And now I'm going to look, here's my domain. It is wagwalkrepeat.com. So I'm just simply going to type that in right here. So wagwalkrepeat.com. Um, now, if you want to have the HTTPS, uh, or excuse me, the HTTPS, that'll automatically populate for us. So you, your website system, uh, Mighty Sites gives you a secure certificate as part of your, your package. Um, if you want this to be the www domain um, just pay attention to that for this we're just using the uh the https version uh, that just goes and links to there so i'm going to put in wagwalkrepeat.com and i'm going to click save and now once it does that now mighty sites knows what this domain is that i'm trying to connect to so now i have to take the steps over here with my registrar that's what this is called my domain registrar is domain.com and i'm going to click on this wheel right here this little gear to get started on making these changes, here are the instructions that Mighty Sites gives me. And the specific thing I need to do, required updates, I need to update my primary A record and I need to update my C name. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that in domain.com. So I'm gonna go over here, I clicked into my domain, so I'm on the right dom domain. I'm gonna go over here to this little tab, DNS and name servers and click on it. Now I'm going to go over here to this tab called DNS records. And the first thing I'm going to do is change this first A record right here, okay? So the thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click on edit, and then it's going to pop up this little box. Now, the name that I'm going to use is this A record, right? So this is the number that I need to copy. So I'm going to copy that right there. That's the IP address, it's called. And I'm going to put in that IP address right here. So now I've updated the IP address. I'm going to to reduce this down to half an hour. So it's done as soon as possible. I'm gonna update the DNS now. So if I, as you can see, now I've got that number in there. So that's the IP address that I need to update in the A record. Now, the next thing that I'll need to do is there's not by default, 
a C name there. Well, there is a C name here. Let's check out this one. So there is a specific type of C name here. So I'm going to go over here to my system and I'm going to, I'm going to edit that C name. So it points to these instructions, sites.mightysites.com and then www. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to actually edit this. And I'm going, well, that domain I'm actually going to leave alone. I'm going to go now over here and I'm going to add a C name. So the name of this will be, let's read the instructions. Your www C name record should point to sites.mightysites.com. So I'm going to go over here to sites and type this is a C name. Here's the content, sites.mightysites.com. And then the name is where I put in the www. So I just type in here, www, type is C name, select time to live half an hour, and then sites.mightysites.com. And I'm gonna add the DNS. So now I've updated those records on this side. So I'm gonna go over here to Mighty Sites and I'm gonna click on this that says I've updated, I've completed the DNS updates. So now that I've done that, now I do have to wait, all right? So this, this will start to update and we're gonna keep checking this. The Mighty Sites system is going to keep checking to make sure that this domain gets connected. And you'll be able to see right here. So if I go back to my dashboard, you'll see that this is now processing. And if I go to manage my domain, the instructions are still there for me, but it shows that it's updating this and it'll say it'll, it was last checked 14 seconds ago. So I'll show you now, let's see, um, IP status checker. So you can Google something like that, um, or you can just, uh, I'll, I'll put the link in there as well. Um, uh, DNS propagation, that's what I'm looking for. Search DNS propagation. And then there's this DNS checker tool that I'll link to where you can actually plug in your domain name and then see if anything has gotten updated yet. So I'm going to go over here. We know that the domain is now wagwalkrepeat.com. So I'm going to plug in here wagwalkrepeat.com. Click on search. And now that Mighty Sites number is 174. So we can see that these are still on the old IP address number for now. So it takes half an hour to work. So we'll come back and check on this and you can actually see where your site has propagated online so far. So I'm gonna wait right here. Now, don't be nervous if you go to check on this as this process is going and you type in your domain name and you see a message like this, right? Because it's not connected yet, nothing's happening. So right now that whole thing is in process. We'll check back in half an hour and I'll show you the progress that we've made. Okay, great news. So I just went back to the dnschecker.org website, <laughs> excuse me, the link that I'll post for uh, as part of this article. But I just went back and checked and I ran my domain to check the A record and I clicked on search. And now I can see that that 174.138.108.26, that new IP address that points to my brand new Mighty Sites website, that is now the domain or the IP address that's being registered. So again, this checker helps you understand what stage of the process you're in. So now if I go back to my uh, back end of my site, I can see that there's a new thing saying right here, right? Manage your domain. It says it's connected. And now it just showed that spinning circle, right? Because it was connecting my secure certificate. So my secure certificate is this SSL certificate that makes my connection to my website secure. So you'll have a secure website. That's totally included uh, with what you're already paying for, for that $9 a month. So, <clears throat> excuse me, now you'll have a secure website. That certificate, that securing process, our, our software will do that for you. It's going to do it on the back end after your domain's connected. And then once it's fully connected, you'll get this little check mark. Now, when I went to my website during that process, just so you know, it did not have the secure certificate yet. So again, <laughs> that's because it's a process that's, that the software goes to to issue that certificate. So if you see that your domain has propagated 
and that this was spinning, as in the domain, uh, the secure certificates being issued. Don't be spooked if you see this when you try to visit your website URL. It just means that the, the secure certificates being issued, it should resolve in a few hours uh, and, and sometimes much quicker than that. But I just say a few hours uh, just to give it a little extra time. So now that we can see it's connected, however, now I can go check this out, refresh it. Now I've got that secure certificate, right? That's totally included with your package. And now if I go to wagwalkrepeat.com, now I can see that that indeed leads me to my business website. So, excuse me, my business is fully connected and that's how you connect your domain using domain.com to your Mighty Sites website. And so now I'm all done. Now, when I go to market my business, I can go to just say, hey, visit me at wagwalkrepeat.com. And I can put that on my business cards. I can connect it to my Google business profile. I can put that in any flyers or pricing, PDFs, things like that that I use. I can go update any directories uh, where people find dog walkers with that URL. Website, again, is your online business card. Becomes a really great tool. And then people can share your website with others. Um, now you've got a nice professional website and it gives a nice way for leads who are interested in your services to contact you right through it, which is which is a great part. And you'll see your leads in the back end dashboard. So that's it. Now my domain is connected. So if you have a domain from domain.com, that's how you connect your domain to your Mighty Sites website.